Visiting Hilton Singapore on a Tuesday afternoon, interestingly, we found many Hilton lifers, staff with decades of service. Like Perrin Chardy, a bellman here for 48 years. Rebecca Liu, a linen attendant, 45 years. Or Vivian Chia, a senior assistant restaurant manager, 25 years. She started out as a cashier. Management gave me a lot of opportunity to grow myself. Working Hilton for these 25 years, I never, never feel bored in this hotel life. And every day, really have a new things to learn. Chia says she's given enough challenges to stay, expanding her skills, climbing up the ranks. My English is not so good, and my computer is very really poor also. But in Hilton, they give me a lot of uh, training and send me go for the courses. Hilton, starting with its founder, is known for what's called distributed leadership, giving employees autonomy to think outside the box. There was one time, like a guest check in, uh, he was not really walking properly. Uh, I realized and I asked him, like, uh, how are you? And he said that he injured while he was on a flight. He used to stay in China, so he had like a medicine. So I went to check online. I found out that actually we do have it here, so I, I went and bought it for him and he was really happy. It's all about the people. In the end, I have the good fortune of running this very big business with 400,000 people that are serving people every day, but that's exactly what it is. It's a business of people serving people. And it was, is, and always will be about the culture of the company. Cheryl Goh is now following in her mother's footsteps at Hilton. The daughter of Vivian Chia started out in F&B, but has been offered a chance to stretch her entrepreneurial thinking and skills at the front office at just 19 years old. I want to like to explore more in the departments in, in a hotel to know more about operation. I will want to have like more experience in the back of house as well housekeeping, banquet, and see how it works. Whether it's raising the bar with a level of service, or the drawer of staff perks, or simply the sheer community of the place, here, legacy transcends generations. You're in charge of 380,000 employees spread across 106 countries and territories. From your experience, what sort of leadership is required to build great companies today? What drives you? What motivates you? Um, impact. You know, when, if, if you had the opportunity to travel around and see the great things that we do and the effect that we have uh, on people's lives around the world, customers that I get to interact with, hotels that I tour and team members in the back of house whose lives we've changed, where we've given them opportunities and, and careers that have been built and families that have been, you know, sort of built around this business. It's awe-inspiring. It really is. I mean, it's, uh, I feel like I'm a very fortunate person to, to be in the seat I'm in. Hi, I'm Christine Tan and thanks for watching Managing Asia on CNBC Live. You can check out more of our great content by clicking on the videos on screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the very best in feature programming. Thanks for watching.